myself Prayag Patel working as the assistant professor in IT ICT department of LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. Now in ADA subject consider first unit number one basics of algorithms and mathematics. In this unit first topic is introduction of algorithms. Now consider the topics to be covered in this chapter first chapter first introduction to algorithm in introduction to algorithm we discuss the definition of algorithm the characteristics of algorithm then how to write an algorithm and designing of algorithm now next topic consider as a mathematics for algorithmic sets in this topic we discuss set theory function and relation vector and matrices then linear inequality and linear equations and last topic is logic and quantifier now in today's video lecture first we discuss what is an algorithm now algorithm means collection of instruction or step, step by step solution of the problem we can see like this now main definition of algorithm is a collection of unambiguous instructions occurring in some specific sequence such an algorithm should produce output for a given set of input in finite amount of time means we consider here collection of unambiguous instructions means unique instructions and these instructions occurring in some specific sequence so here sequential instruction we can consider here now algorithm should produce output for a given set of input in finite amount of time a process or a set of rules to be followed to achieve a desired output especially by a computer is also called the algorithm so consider second definition of algorithm now third definition of algorithm is a step by step procedure or a step by step process to solve a different kind of problem now say in this figure first consider the problem means your task or aim consider as a problem now consider the algorithm or write the algorithm for that problem so second step is algorithm now using any programming language you can apply your algorithm to the computer so after applying algorithm into convert into the program then apply the set of input to that algorithm and get the output according to your given set of input now consider the next topic is characteristics or property of an algorithm now here consider first property is non ambiguity non ambiguity means each step of an algorithm must be clear and precise so each and every instruction should be clear and unique instruction are there no any conflict meaning in these instructions now consider the second property as a range of input the range of input should be specified means for each and every algorithm you have to first decide or specify the range of input in a fixed now consider the multiplicity multiplicity means the same algorithm can be represented in several different ways for example for searching you can write the algorithm in more than one way for a searching cell, like sequential search and binary search so this is called the multiplicity or also you can say that you can write the algorithm in different different way like using pseudo code using natural language using flow chart so this is also called the multiplicity now next property is speed algorithm should be efficient and should produce the output with fast speed means which algorithm speed is high is considered as a better algorithm or best algorithm now last property is finiteness a algorithm must always terminate after a finite number of steps means performing the n number of steps your algorithm should be terminated now consider the next topic is how to write an algorithm for writing an algorithm we consider the two section first section is algorithm heading part and second section is algorithm body part now in algorithm heading part there are four sub topic or sub part first one is name of algorithm then problem description then input and output so algorithm heading part containing these four things now algorithm body part algorithm body part means it consists of logical body of an algorithm by making use of various programming construct construct and assignment statement means here we can consider the main logical part of an algorithm consider as a algorithm body part now consider the one example of algorithm problem 
or given problem is write an algorithm to find the sum of n numbers. So here consider the name of the algorithm first because we already discussed first for step consider as an algorithm heading part. Now consider the algorithm body part. So in algorithm heading part, first consider the name of the algorithm. So here algorithm sum n. So here sum consider as a name of algorithm and algorithm consider as a keyword for writing the algorithm. In bracket, we write the n means n consider as an argument or parameter for this algorithm. Now next is problem description. Problem description means simply you can say that the aim of your algorithm or your problem. The algorithm is for find the sum of n numbers. Now input. In input here we consider 1 to n number because here we want to addition of n number performing the addition of n number. That's why write 1 to n. Now next is output. Output means sum of n numbers. So here consider the output means addition of n number. So here first consider this for part or for component consider as an algorithm heading part. Now this second part or logical part consider as an algorithm body part. So this part is algorithm body part. Now consider the body part of algorithm initially sum equal to 0 means assign the value 0 to some variable. Now for assignment statement here we use the left arrow. Now next is for i equal to 1 to n2 sum equal to sum plus i means you can addition of n number using this formula using this formula. Now last one is return sum. Next step is designing of an algorithm. Now for designing of algorithm you can follow these steps for designing of your algorithm. A sequence of steps involved in designing an analysis of an algorithm is shown in this figure. First step is understand the problem. Second, decision making on device, then exit or approximate method, then data structure and algorithmic strategy. Third step is design an algorithm. Fourth step, verification of algorithm. Next, analyze the algorithm. And last one is code of the algorithm. Now consider one by one step. First step, understand the problem. Understand the problem means you can, before designing of algorithm, you can understand your problem properly. Means step by step, you can understand your problem. Also, you can decide the input required for this algorithm. So here, this is the first step of designing of algorithm and input to decide for your algorithm. Second step is decision making on here consider the four component for decision making first component is capability of computational device means on which system or on which device you can perform your algorithm then first we require the some specification or criteria or capacity of your computational device so first thing is your system is sequential or parallel system or also you can consider the your RAM or configuration of your system for an execution of your algorithm. Now second thing is choose the exact or approximate method for problem solving. Means here consider your problem solving task is exact solution required or approximate solution required. So if you want to find the exact solution, then you can use the exact method. If you want to find the approximate solution or in some case, there are no possibility for find the exact solution. In this case, we can find the approximate solution for the problem. So you can decide your problem is exact problem or approximate problem. Now third decision is consider the third decision as a data structure. Before designing of algorithm, you decide which data structure you will use in this algorithm. So here consider the choose, choosing of proper data structure is required for designing of algorithm like array, state, queue, linked list, tree or graph. Now fourth consider as a decision making of algorithmic strategy. Now here total six strategy available for algorithm. First is brute force technique means consider the simple straightforward technique using new approach. Second method is divide and conquer algorithm means you can divide the problem into sub problem then sub problem solve independently then combine the reason. Now third technique is 
greedy algorithm to solve the problem locally optimal decision are made for this dynamic programming algorithm the result of smaller reoccurrence instance are obtained to solve the problem so here greedy and dynamic used for find the optimal solution next consider as a back tracking algorithm this method is based on the trial and error solution is chosen from the set of n or set s means you have n possibility decide the one possibility out of this n means simply we can say that trial and error situation and last is branch and bound algorithm this is based on the principle that the total set of feasible solution can be partitioned into the smaller subset of solution this smaller subset can be obtained or evaluated systematically until the best solution is found so here consider this is a for strategy you can decide out of this one now consider the design of algorithm is your next step third step means the specification of algorithm or designing of the algorithm there are three way to specify an algorithm or design an algorithm first is using natural language second using pseudo code and third one using flowchart so here consider three way in this figure for algorithm designing technique now consider the one by one first is natural language it is a very simple and easy to specify an algorithm using natural language but this is not used in real life so first consider the example of the natural language first consider addition of two number and write the algorithm for addition of two number then step 1 here in this natural language we can simply write the algorithm in using natural language so first step is read the first number say a step number 2 read the second number say b step number 3 add the two numbers and store the result in c fourth display the result from c so this is called the simple algorithm using natural language now second is consider as a pseudo code pseudo code is a mixture of natural language and programming language so here consider this some programming language symbols are used and some natural language symbols are used so here consider for assignment statement use the left arrow for comment you can consider the double slash then also you can consider the e for while loop for the this pseudo code algorithm so first consider the name of the algorithm sum ab ab consider as a argument then problem description this algorithm perform the addition of two numbers input two value a and b output addition of two values then logical part consider as a c equal to a plus b and return c so consider addition of two numbers algorithm using pseudo code now third consider as a flow chart you can also the write al write an algorithm using the flow chart flow chart is a graphical representation of algorithm it is a method of expressing an algorithm by collection of connected geometric shapes so here consider the some shapes for algorithm representation of algorithm using flow chart so here first symbol used for the start and stop the next consider as a for process the next symbol consider for input output next symbol consider for decision making next consider for connector then flow then consider the manual input and consider the predefined process so for addition of two number you can write the flow chart like this first you can write the start then read a then read b for read you can use the input output symbol then consider the process for addition so here consider c equal to a plus b as a process then print result as a output then end of your flow chart so this is consider as a flow chart now consider next step is consider the correctness or check the correctness of algorithm so here consider how we can check the algorithm correctness after designing of algorithm you only design algorithm not design any program so here consider after designing of algorithm you can give the n number of input to that algorithm and check the result on paper basis so here consider the your answer is correct according to your given set of input or not it check by using the correctness of algorithm now fifth step analysis of algorithm how we can analyze the algorithm for analysis purpose we can consider the time complexity and space complexity for analysis of algorithm now what is the time complexity 
Time complexity means amount of time required to solve the problem. Space complexity means amount of space required to solve the your algorithm. Now, for analysis purpose, you consider the four factors. Here, consider first is time efficiency of algorithm. Second, space efficiency of algorithm. Third, simplicity of algorithm. Simplicity of algorithm means your algorithm should be simple as possible as. And last one is generality of algorithm means your algorithm in general form, not a specific. And last topic is coding of an algorithm means after designing of algorithm, you can design your program or code your algorithm using this technique. So consider this is a last step. The coding or implementation of algorithm is done by a suitable programming language like C, C++, Java. It is a very essential or optimization code writing technique. So here consider in this lecture, we discuss all about the what is algorithm, then how you can write the algorithm, then property of algorithm. So in our next video lecture, we discuss the all remaining topic of this chapter. Thank you for watching.